exercise is great. It's uh, the idea with a lot of a lot of athletic training and, and sports performance training is dynamic hip hip extension. Um, the ability to go from go from a flexed position of the hip to really dynamically extending it, which is very very common in all sports. And along with that, we're also establishing a controlled and accuracy training with the uh, with the upper body. So we're working dynamic hips to an accuracy aspect with the upper body hand eye coordination as well. What you're going to do. Start off with a medicine ball at your chest, nice and high. The idea is to kind of cup your elbows underneath it, so you're not holding the ball like this. As you go through repetitions and your, and your elbows are out, the weight will start to fall down. So try to keep your elbows nice and tucked underneath it and the ball nice and high, probably in line with the upper portion of your chest and your chin. All right, from there, you're gonna set up uh, to a wall a few feet away from the wall, because the idea is the ball is gonna be bouncing off of the wall and then coming back down to you. And what all you're gonna do is go through, perform a deep squat butt back, back in your heels. All right, notice again where my spine is aligned. I'm not rocking forward. I'm also not just doing a mid squat. I really want to generate as much force through my hips as I possibly can getting into a deep squat. From there, you're dynamically standing up. Sometimes you'll even jump into this and throwing the medicine ball, most commonly for men, about 10 feet, women for nine feet, up against the wall, back down, back into your squat. And it's repped together in a nice smooth, rhythm like so. Well, a few of the most common mistakes I'll see with this is one, allowing the ball to control the torso. Um, a lot of times you'll see the ball come back down and it'll pull the body forward like so. All right, you can see how much stress that's putting on my lower back. All right, so the idea is to always keep that strong spine. Uh, number two is not squatting far enough. For sport, if you really want to translate this to sport, you want to be able to use really dynamic hips through the biggest range of motion possible. So a very common habit I see people getting into is just sort of popping up like this. And you really want to avoid that limited range of motion. You really want to use that big range of motion. Um, finally is the catch. A lot of the times I'll see people just sort of catch the ball in their hands like so. Again, if, if the weight's too heavy for you to catch comfortably like so, use lighter weight, all right? You don't need to use a 50 pound medicine ball or anything like that. You really want to make sure you're catching it in this good, structured, stable position and not letting the ball pull you down. The idea, because you're not using a really, really heavy weight in general, um, it would be kind of higher rep ranges. Again, I like to incorporate this style of movement into the Metcon aspect of things, the, the metabolic conditioning, or what CrossFitters call the WOD, workout of the day. Um, and the idea would be I'd probably, I'd probably keep it in the 10 to 15 rep range. 